Hi guys, welcome back to LPB Racing for the Mazda MX-5 Touring Trophy on GT Sport. This is race two from Alsace Village, round five of the championship. So let's take you through the grid then for this one. So it is Jamo on pole position, Neil in second place. Then it is third for Keith, fourth is Rodders, fifth is Firepower, sixth is, Bid uh, sixth is Video, seventh is Bidster, eighth is Seek, and ninth is is ty so let's take you to the race then and get ready for the start of this one so here we go then waiting for the light to come on on the tree just to remind you we've got bids to with maximum weight uh video second place weight third third weight is seek then it's neil and then jamo so off we go and we're off jamo gets a good start and he's carrying fifth place weight so it'll be a bit of a hard one so keith is in Second, they're going wide though. Neil's up the inside of Rodders and he's going. Oh, he's just about, just about keeps all the position. Second place for Keith still as you go up the hill. Firepower Rodders side by side. Video and Bids are side by side near the back as well. All going up over the hill. It's almost three wide as we go up the hill. Rodders, Neil, Firepower, and T Y trying to get in there as well. Down towards the hairpin, right hand hairpin, downhill breaking. Firepower's on the inside. We've got four wide almost. Rodders and T.Y. almost coming together, Firepower goes through, Bids are trying to follow through as well. Remember Bids is heavy in this one, so is Video, it's going to be hard for them to make up positions. So Bids are side by side with T.Y. and a few others further back, there we go, Firepower, T.Y., Bids are all together. And Firepower trying to attack Neil as well, or he's defending from T.Y. either one, as Firepower keeps on the inside defend. Bit of a twitch there and T.Y. gets put on the grass, couldn't help it really because Firepower had a twitch. And then... Bidster goes through, I think Video's trying to follow him as well, there we go, down towards the next corner, Video trying to follow through with Bidster, but remember they're heavy, Firepower on the inside, has got a lighter car as you go out the corner, to almost contact between the two cars there, Video and Firepower, very close together here, Rodis is having a go for second place as well, he's right behind Keith, as Video goes through there with Bidster behind us, he's got TY seat going through, Firepower there, and we've got a car off in the back now, oh well, look the way you are, it's Keith, Keith's off! Keith's off in that from ninth, he's off. So I don't know what happened between for him there, but we'll get a replay after the first lap as we go down into the hairpin. Seat one only just stops the car and avoids his teammate. Firepower back down to eighth place. So firepower gets shoved out in all that as well. So uh, all happening there. There's been oh, bits and video side by side up the hill. Bids up to fourth now because of the demise of Keith. And firepower as we go down the hill then. It's Jamo in the lead. Rod is, is now second. Neil third. Bids to fourth, video fifth, and up towards the line we go. Bids to in fourth place there under pressure from video. We'll get a replay now of that incident that happened on the first lap. Okay, here's the replay of what happened to Keith then on lap one. So going round the hairpin, goes up down to the inside and keeps his foot in, clips the grass and round she goes into the wall, pirouettes round, and the green car camouflaged with the green grass and then gets going. As we come back from that end, so it's Rodders, Neil, Bidster, as we go into the first corner, good lines there, video a bit wider there, it doesn't, doesn't hit Bidster around this time though, which is good, so he avoids Bidster that time as you go up the hill, up, start the climb in these cars, this is where, the, if anyone's got the weight on, this is where it'll really start to affect him, so Bidster and video, watch out, because you've got T.Y. approaching you, and he's got a good five mile an hour difference on you, going up to the hit over the hill, will he go for the inside video defence slightly, just to make him go around the long way, but he could go for a cut back here, as he does, video goes wide onto the grass, and Bidster as well, Bidster goes wide with the weight as well, the weight of the car pushing the car wide, as Neil Farmax being off, and Rodders as well, Bidster goes straight from fourth to second, Rodders and Neil coming together there I think, as we go down to the next corner, they're all together as one, three wide, Neil on the inside, Rodders in the middle, Bids the thingy, what the hell? T.Y. saying, sod you all, we ran the outside of the lot of you. But goes onto the grass, Video gets a good run. Rodders in the middle, this is epic, and Neil as well, four wide. Alsis, four wide, down to the next corner. T.Y.'s on the inside, Rodders and Bids the playing, well, Rodders and Video playing ping pong with each other. Down through the next corner, and we're still all together. As There goes Firepower and Seek in the background, Bids the defence from Neil. Remember, Bids the and Video, heavier cars. It's going to be hard for them to stick in this pack, but they're sticking to the inside line and doing well. T.Y. and Neil together. Neil goes out wide there, gets back in. Oh, incredible. 
together down towards the hairpin. Little kink to the left and into the hairpin. Best on the brakes. She's going to win here. TY gets the inside from Neil, Video and Rodders. Neil gets a good cut back though, tries to get a good run out of the corner and so is Firepower and Seat 1, they're side by side as well as they all tuck themselves in there, here's Seat 1 and Firepower, Seat 1 holds 7th place so far, not a bad race though, and Jamo meanwhile at the front just run, running away with it, but TY having to go up Bidston and then down to, to the chicane, TY up the inside, Bidston not really got an answer for him yet so Bidston has to give way, goes wide to try and get a good run out of the corner, Neil Farnack leaving, uh oh, video leaving the door open there for Rodders, as Rodders has a little look, but no way through there is found. So, oh, the order then. Jamo in the lead. TY second. Bids to third. Neil fourth. Video fifth. And Rodders poking his nose on the inside in sixth place, but can't quite do anything about it. Remember, this is where it'll change because they're going up the hill now. The climb begins. And Video and Bidster will come under attack here. As Bidster's coming under attack from Neil. You see TY just pulling away from Bidster a bit there. Neil Farmack right behind him. Bids to a ruthless defender though, he goes to the inside, does not let him go through, but with the weight that's going to counteract out of the corner, and Bids is going to, oh, he, unless he does that and hooks the curb and he gets a good line out of the corner, so, Bids to proving it can be done, a bit risky, but it can be done, as we go through the long left-hander down towards the 93 right, good place to overtake down here. Video defends the inside from Rodders as we've got Firepower and Seek in the background having a bit of going together as Video goes through on Rodders as Firepower now defending from Keith who's backing all this action. Keith coming back with a vengeance here. So Keith's nice and light in this race. Seek's on third place weight uh, in, near him as well. Bids to Neil T.Y. pulling away now. T.Y. starting to pull away from the two in second place because Bids is holding Neil up here because Bids wants as many points as he can get for his team and himself for the drivers but Neil trying to go around the outside of him trying to stick around the outside and get the inside for the next one has he got it oh he's still alongside him still side by side down towards the hairpin but Bits has got the favourable line into the hairpin see if he can hold on to it onto the brakes Bits is on the inside Neil goes very wide oh he goes very wide he's on the grass so he loses loads of places there one little trip onto the grass and he's lost fourth he's lost fifth he's down to sixth and with the with the bad run as well he might even go down behind seat one here so he's got to be careful Neil running Neil's running uh, fourth place weight so he's a little bit lighter than the seat one but still uh, anything could happen here as firepower and Keith go down the hill as well video having a little go at bids to here but no way through Naughty Racing car holding off the target car and Rodders the other Naughty Racing car coming up behind Video now to try and take some pressure off Bids but Bids does have to defend here and into the first corner defending three wide almost Rodders goes around the outside of Video and up the hill he's going to get Bidster as well Rodders goes around the outside of two cars at the hairpin incredible stuff there from Rodders just showing he's, the, he's definitely the man with the overtakes this season pulling some great moves on people here and Rodders goes up into third and his teammate now succumbing to the two target cars, Video and Neil on the inside. And nothing Bidster can do here unless he's very brave on the brakes. He's going to try and be brave and to the inside. Goes up on the curb as he's lined from before and almost contact out the corner. Very close there. Oh, and Firepower goes wide in the background. And oh, does he go? Oh, Keith re reacts and loses the car. So Keith reacts to Firepower going off and loses the car himself. Bids has been passed by Neil though because of the weight. And Seat 1's trying to now get him as well as Rod is now defending from video further up Bids has got to try and stay in the, in the points if he can or as high up as he can all very close this meanwhile Jamo at the front here he is not seeing much in this race that's because he's that far in front we can't see him there's Jamo, there's TY so Jamo and TY similar lap times there Rodders, video, Neil, Seek, everyone together all through these Mazdas proving really really good excitement for racing here as we go through this corner and out down towards the hairpin. Oh, Bidster's off! Massive off there for Bidster's off on the other side of the road as well. So the weight finally catching him out around there. Tried to go full full throttle all the way around, I think, when you're supposed to have a little lift and just got carried away with himself. Back down to seventh he goes. Rare mistake from Bidster. So uncharacteristic, but we all make them from time to time. So up the hill we go. Video now trying to catch Rodders. Rodders is now in a safe third position. Well, I don't want to say safe because. Uh, Video and Neil are right behind him, They're keeping the pressure on for most of the race as well. As we go into the last corner, Neil will they start to have a go at his teammate. Well, video was very deep into that corner and he goes wide out. That could leave him vulnerable to Neil and Seek as well. Down to the hairpin. 
Start of lap five. Even though Jammo and TY are already on it. Neil goes to the inside of his teammate. The battle into position now. Neil to the inside. Video to the outside. And video actually keeping a good, good, some good speed there. Up the hill now. Three wide up the hill. Video, Neil and Teague. I think video is just going to edge ahead here. I think he is, but remember he's got he's got second place weight on, so he's not going to be exactly what you call fast up the hill. But he's going to try and do what he can. Seat one coming alongside Neil. Neil's the lighter car of these of these three. As we go into the hairpin, Neil just about holds on to seat. Yes, he does. He holds on, and they go out the corner. Nicely there is Jamo. Then he's been caught by Ty. Ty 205 one fastest lap of the race last time round, which was a full second faster than his teammate. So Ty hungry for points here. Rod is in third. Video fourth. Neil fifth. Seat one sixth. Bidster and Firepower, the two teammates together. Bidster's going to try and pull Firepower up to the pack, I think, if he can. But remember, Bidster is maximum weight here, which is not going to help him whatsoever. And also that little mistake earlier did not help him even more. So, but those things happen. We can't help it sometimes. Video, there's video and Neil, the two target cars. On the corner, and the other target car of Keith's right at the back, having a miserable race, Keith. But uh, he's in the nice green chrome target car, looking very nice there. That's the team in the, in the team colour that's going to actually work. Because he was in the team Versa car before, but um, unfortunately, half his teammates could not turn up. So uh, you got in there, the, the team target lost one. and. There he's joined them as Video goes onto the grass there, that's going to lose him speed up the hill. Video's lot definitely losing speed, he's on the grass again. Neil's going to come up, come up and take advantage here. Will he let Neil go through before the corner? I think he has, has he? He's going to try and keep his foot in it now, he's let Neil go. Sensible stuff, don't want to hold up your teammate if you're making mistakes, so uh, let his teammate have a go at trying to catch Rodders. Through we go, as in the, in the background we've still got Bidster and Firepower close together. Uh, bids are not really making any inroads into the other guys. Let's have a look at the lap times as we go over the line. 208.1 for Seek. And more or less the other guys. 209.6 for Bids. So he's lost that draft and he's lost the speed. So uh, it doesn't look like Bids is going to get any further as Neil and Video again side by side. These two team target cars both battling out very hard here. And uh, it's not exactly helping them make progress. But uh, still, remember, we're in it individually as well as teams. As C1 goes to the inside of Video there. Video giving him a massive squeeze there. But um, hopefully C1... Still keeping his foot in it, which he does as video goes on the grass and goes straight across onto the other bit of grass and he's going to lose speed there. And he's got a half second penalty, he's got to get rid of that before the line. So by the end of the lap he's got to get rid of that penalty, otherwise he'll incur a 10 second added as he's getting rid of it now. Sensible stuff, let's see it go and gets rid of the penalty now. So good job by video there. Further back we've got Bidster and Firepower still running together but uh, Biz are not really making any inroads into the other guys yet still TY from Jam still Jamo from TY Jamo 205.6 last time round 205.7 for TY so Jamo matching TY's pace here so the two cars running really well what is a 207 for 208 dead for Neil Farmack there's all Neil goes off onto the grass he's going to go up on the, on the other side or he just keeps it off so Neil making a makes a mistake there, and that's not going to help him catch Rodders up. It will help Seat One catch him up for definite. And his teammate Video as we go into the hairpin. So Neil Farmer getting a bit carried away there. He did what Bidster did earlier, but he recovered it quicker. And there's Bidster through to the other side of the road, which was not good because it lost him even more time as he go up the hill. Seat One trying to catch up Video, put, being pulled along by Seat here. Trying to get further up the field to try and help his team walls teammates here. We go through the corner nicely through there as we go down past the pit lane. All keeping the rough of the same gap. Let's have a look back to Bidster and the uh, 210, 209, and Bidster this last time around 209 again. So this is keeping it consistent, but he's not exactly what you call catching up. But at the front, we've got Jamo here on his last lap of the race. Been leading from the start, never got interrupted and ran away with it while everyone else were battling. And he's got a really good lead here. And he's got a he's got a couple of second lead over his teammate. There he is, there's TY, a couple of seconds back. Then from TY to Rodders, it's a, another sort of four or five seconds. So uh, you've got a nice gap there to, to judge. 
There's Neil goes still there. Oh, seat one's on the grass. Seat one goes off. And oh, Joe just keeps hold of the car before video goes past. So almost takes out video, but luckily got the car under control. But he's lost position there. And video goes through to fifth. Meanwhile, further back, Bidston. Firepower still running close. But uh, Bidston still ahead of Firepower for now as we go through the right hander. There's meanwhile at the front, Jamo there. See if he's going to slow down this time because last time he slowed down for absolutely no reason and we don't know why still but uh, he slowed down for some reason but hopefully this time he won't otherwise his teammate will definitely pass him so uh, Jamo then into the last few corners there's TY behind him fastest lap of the race TY 205.1 on lap 4 on the right hand side there so good lap time there for TY the back there's video and seat still close together seat wanting that place back from video in these last few corners down we go as at the front then jamo comes down the hill with ty in suit following suit ty really trying to catch jamo here but i think it's going to be too late jamo's going to just going to come around the last corner now and jamo's going to take a victory here at alsis well done to jamo Wins the race, Jamo wins the race from TY in second place, who I think he just bagged the last fastest lap, 204.1 on the last lap. Brilliant there from TY. Rodders in third, a good third position for Rodders, well deserved there. He goes across the line. Neil's going to be fourth, and Video is going to be fifth with Seek in sixth place. And then it's going to be Bidster from Firepower, seventh and eighth, and then Keith will round off the nine. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now, guys. Okay guys, here's the results from that then. So Jamo takes another victory here. Well done to Jamo. Second place for TY. Then it is third for Rodders. Fourth is Neil. Video takes fifth. Seat one in sixth. Then it's seventh for Bidster. Eighth for Firepower. And ninth is Keith. Fastest lap of the race goes to TY with a 204.1. So as we come back from that then, there is your winner, Jamo, in the number 98 Mazda there. Well done to Jamo. He wins the race, and we will see you guys next time for still round five, but it will be race three, and it will be at Saint-Croix. We'll see you then for that one, guys. Take care.